Young guys especially tend to lie to impress. Yeah, because when you're young, you might be very talented, very smart, and this and that and the other. You might have a lot of potential, but because of the virtue of being young, you haven't uh, done a lot. You don't have a hell of a lot of mileage now, do you? Of course not. So you're in your early 20s, and so you know a lot. You know exceptional amount of information. And so you might be interacting with somebody and in your urge to show how much you actually know or how smart you are, or how much potential you have, you start to lie to them. You lie to them hoping to impress them. Never do this. Never lie to impress. Never. I don't have a problem with lying, okay? But the issue is that when you lie to impress, what happens is inevitably you'll get caught out and the opposite effect will ensue. Rather than be impressed by you, they will think you're a fucking idiot, a liar, and want nothing to do with you. And let me give you a specific example that happened to me recently. See, recently I met a young guy. I got to talking to him and whatnot, okay? I'm, I talk to a whole bunch of people because, you know, I get in touch with them via Patreon or they email me or, or you know, on, on whatever social media I happen to be on, right? And sometimes they catch my attention because they say something clever or they're just something and I just, like, wind up talking to them. Hell, one of my uh, favorite people in the world, Dr. Benway, with whom I'm still in touch, is somebody that I met that way back in 2017. He was following my videos and sent me a couple of uh, DMs on, on Twitter and we got to talking and now four years later we're bosom buddies so you know I'm, I'm always open to talking to new people but I was talking to this young guy and um, this guy he, he seemed very impressive very smart guy I mean extremely smart I'd say he was smarter than me to tell you the truth and he was telling me all different things and the thing is see um, he gave me his actual name and so it was no trick at all to Google him. And so he tells me that he's doing certain things in his life. And all I had to do was just Google it and to know that, you know, that was not quite what he was doing. He was gussing it up and making it seem more impressive than what he was actually doing. He's just basically an undergraduate, you know, which is perfectly respectable, you know, nothing wrong with that. But, you know, he was like, he's just an undergraduate. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we got to talking and he told me a story. And when he told me the story, I mean, it was like talking about different things and whatnot. And he told me the story and it just didn't square. It just didn't make much sense. And at the time I sort of like pointed it out and he acted like, oh, I don't know why this happened to me. You know, I'll find out. I'll find out more. I forgot all about it. And then later he told me a second thing that I sort of like registered and, and I just let it slide, just, just not thinking much of it. And see, because of course what happens is that I'm a 53 year old man. And so a lot of times, you know, I'll, I'll be sort of like half listening to whatever somebody's telling me and then something will perk up because my experience will tell me, oh, wait, 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 what happened there? You know, because over the years you've heard so many similar stories, right? So that you sort of like know what to expect. But when something sort of like breaks that, uh, that mold, you, you sort of like perk up a little bit, right? And so he said something that made me perk up a little bit, but I just let it slide. I figured, you know, shit happens. People's experiences are different and whatnot. And so fine. But then he hit me with a third whopper, a third whopper about uh, business, okay? And him telling me that he had gone into business and that he had shelled out like mid five figures to um, own a share of a business that he was uh, working at, you know, like a startup kind of situation, right? Which sounded very interesting. Uh, he was telling me about the startup and he told me that he had shelled out from his own money and that he had somehow acquired mid five figures to buy a percentage of this company, of the startup. But the problem was that he didn't know how much percentage he had bought of the company or <laughs> what were the gross revenues or, or, or income of the company. He didn't know some key bits of information. Of course, he'd lied to me. Of course. Yeah, this kid hadn't bought any fucking company. He didn't have, you know, mid, uh, f uh, mid five figures to spend on buying a share of some startup company. Fuck you. He just made it up. He just made it up to impress me. Okay? And the thing that happened was that, see, the, the first lie that he told me, 
Mm -hmm. Which later he, he, he told me like additional information to explain away that lie. But even as he was telling me that, I knew that it was a lie, right? And then the second thing, and for the life of me, I can't recall it offhand what it was. It was just a second thing that I thought, oh, but I didn't bring it up with him. And then the third thing, him claiming to have purchased, bought into a startup, but not knowing the percentage of shares he had bought, you know, I, dude, you know, like uh, uh, every company that I've ever uh, gotten involved in, you know, I've known exactly how much I owned of it, you know, in terms of either number of shares or percentages. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's all that matters. You know, who gives a fuck how much you spent on a company? All that matters is how much of a percentage of that company you happen to have purchased, right? So anyway, he tells me this shit and I'm like, dude, dude. And it was a shame because this guy was a really insightful kid, uh, a really just a smart customer, no question. And like I said, smarter than me and a lot of things far more educated and knowledgeable than me. I mean, I could have used a guy like that to, to talk about different stuff and, and find out more information about him, uh, about what he knew rather, right? But him lying like this, and, and then they were just, they were just stupid lies. They were just lies to impress. I, I, I didn't want to have anything to do with the guy. Of course not. Are you insane? Yeah? Because you see, when you lie to impress, what happens is that your trustworthiness goes out the fucking window. You're establishing a relationship with somebody, anybody, okay? One of the key issues that you're establishing as you're growing the relationship with somebody else is trust. Trust that you know what you're saying is true and accurate. Trust that you're not going to betray or otherwise fuck over somebody else. Trust, trust is the ultimate key. It's okay to show yourself to be not so capable or perhaps not so knowledgeable about something, rather than undermine that trust that you are building in a relationship. See, because if this guy had told me that you know he wanted to buy into this company, but he didn't really know how to do it, okay, or or whatever, you know, I mean, th that would have been more reasonable because I would have thought there to myself, of course, he, he doesn't know because you know he's starting out and he doesn't know. But instead of doing that, he lied. He lied, and to me, it was just like. Mm -mm. I, I don't want to have anything to do with him because God knows what else he's going to lie about. God knows if he's going to fuck me over later at some point. Because if I tell him something, you know, and, and that's the issue of trust. Because see, you're exposing yourself. You, you are showing your vulnerabilities to others. See, and if you uh, uh, show your vulnerability to somebody that you don't trust, later on you're going to be thinking to yourself, holy shit, this guy might fuck me over. And so, of course, what happens is that, see, when you come across somebody that you cannot trust, you never tell him the truth. You never tell him about any vulnerability. I was telling you about Benway, right? Benway, like I said, I've known him for four years. We did a podcast for a while and, you know, we had a great old time. He's a guy whose judgment I trust. And he's never lied to me as far as I know, right? And we've talked so much that we, we already have a sense of if, if the guy is lying or, or whatnot. And on top of that, Benway is such a man that he'll tell me, look, you know, I, I can't really tell you about it, so I'm not going to tell you. That's that, you know, he's got that kind of self-confidence, which is what you would want in a man, in a friend, especially. So anyway, recently I told him about about something extremely delicate, extremely delicate, right? And I had no problem doing so. Why? Because he's earned my trust. Over the years, talking to him, he's always been very upfront when he doesn't know something, when he's just not clear about something, or just doesn't know, or is not interested perhaps, you know, but whatnot, but he's never lied to me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, never that I've caught him, okay? Uh, and like I said, you know, we've talked so much that inevitably, see, what happens is with liars, liars always get caught because people forget the lies that they told. That's the great problem, see? I mean, like, for instance, uh, if you tell a, a story, a lie, you know, in a month or two, you might forget that, but the other person might remember it and they might ask you. Hmm? And, and yeah, it's really fucking funny, see? Years ago, I'm talking in high school, I told uh, some friends of mine that an aunt of mine was one of the original members of the Go-Go's, you know, the girl band from the early 80s. Yeah, and I, I told them that she had been, the, the, this aunt of mine had been a member of the group, but she had left it like five minutes before they became famous, you know? And at the time, you know, I told this story and it sounded so unbelievable that I, I thought to myself, oh, they don't believe it, right? Years later, okay, back in, I think it was 2008 or something like that, 
we're talking, you know, 23 years after we, I, we graduated from high school. Uh, I had some of my friends over for dinner at my place. We had a great time, you know, a couple of high school guys I hadn't seen in years and years. We were all hanging out, having a great time. Uh, we had a great dinner. It was like close to one in the morning on a weeknight when they finally left. I mean, we just had a blast. And at the door, as they're uh, about to leave my apartment, one of these guys asked me, you know, is it true that your aunt was a member of the Go-Go's? I'm like, yeah, she was. She was a member, you know, five minutes before um, they became famous and she quit for just bullshit reasons and she never hit it big because of it. She could have been big, but she wasn't, right? And this guy had remembered that story for 23 fucking years. If it had been a lie, I would have forgotten it, of course. But it wasn't a lie. It was the truth. And so, of course, I could instantly recall the information. I had no memory of telling this story to my friends back in the day. It was only when he reminded me of it that I recalled, that I told them. And I recalled also that feeling that, oh, yeah, of course, they don't believe me because it sounds insane, even though it's true. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that, that, that was the situation. You see what's going on. You always remember the truth and you always forget your lies. That's why liars always get caught. So don't lie. Don't lie, don't lie, and most especially don't lie to impress. Because if you lie to impress, you will get caught because all liars get caught. Even the, the, the greatest sociopath forgets the lies he's, he's told. You'll forget the lie, you'll get caught, or the lie will be a little bit too outrageous or somebody who would know enough will know that you're lying and the relationship that you are trying to build will be destroyed. It is always better to come across as perhaps a little naive or a little ignorant or, or not as sophisticated than to lie to impress. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you something useful to think about. If you like my content, please check out my Patreon channel. Link is in the description below. On the Patreon channel, I put the videos that are simply too controversial for YouTube. And I also do a weekly broadcast called the Weekly Webinar, where I take questions and comments and also discuss specific topics. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. I have over 150 videos and uh, over 60 webinars there on the Patreon channel. So please check it out. Thanks very much. And I will catch you next time.